What's up everyone, this is Big Chips Gaming and welcome back to Armageddon in 7 Days to Die bonus content. The sunrise has shined upon us one last time. Come on, did you really think I was gonna leave it how I left it? Granted, the ending took me by surprise. I had no idea that I was gonna end, be ending the series that quickly. So I, I was kind of on the fence about what to do, uh, whether if that should be completely it or, because I do think that there should be like a rewards kind of punishment sort of line between winning the series, not dying at all, completing the series and then losing. I was thinking that um, if I win the series, if I don't die at all, then that means I get to blow up my base. That's the reward. If I do die, then the punishment is that I don't. But then maybe I could flip that a little bit. And instead, when I do die, I blow up the base. But that's it. I did have a few things in mind that I would have done after if I won the series. Got to day 63, did the horde, all, all good. I was thinking about doing like a crazy hordes sort type thing where nothing of the worst shows up. But I suppose that could be the treat going forward in like other series maybe. We are going to get on and blow up my base. And I have turned off the mod called Improve Hordes Mod. I've turned it off. So now that the game is buttery smooth, I've got the game going mostly high with a little bit of ultra settings thrown in there. Uh, but obviously I can't go all the way ultra because this city is gigantic. So we're gonna waste no time whatsoever. We're gonna go into developer mode and then we're gonna go into spawnable stuff. And I believe I can just find it. Uh, I spell it wrong. It's A. <laughs> uh, no, uh, stupid fat fingers. Right, okay, so this one. Yeah, this one has like a little explosion barrel next to it. We'll use, I don't know if if different ones give different explosions, but we'll use the legendary vintage red barrels because you know that, you know, whenever you're playing a game and there's red barrels in the game, you know, you can blow them up. Okay, so let's throw everything in here. I'll keep the ammo on me, because why not? And that should be it. Um, and let's get to putting stuff underground. So I did this at the end of the last series, uh, the Mega City series, which you guys should watch. It is a time and a half. I love that, doing that series. And as I was placing blocks under my house, it randomly blew up. It didn't let me do the domino chain reaction that I wanted to do. Oh yeah, this is the mine. <laughs> As you can see, I did a lot of mining. Went all the way that way to find coal. All the way that way to find more coal. This is where the um, lead mine was. There was uh, lead and iron. And as you can see, it was making me go closer to this building. Which is an oh dear. Especially with the zombies. The wandering hordes were crazy. But anyway, we're going to start with putting barrels inside our house where shall we start I think we should start in our room our crafting area are these going to be centered can I not oh on face advanced can I have them standing up nope they're going to be on the piss because of course they are alright we'll throw them away then and we'll grab with these ones Rusty barrel. Yeah, they got the explosion marker. Yep, yeah, that seems good. Okay, so let's get to placing the explosions. I hope these explode. I really don't want to be doing. Let's test it. Let's test it out. There's nothing wrong with testing it out, Johnny boy. Let's take out this sign. Because why not? It worked. Misplaced block happened again. I think I put it on top of this plant. Oh wait, maybe not. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, at least we know they explode. I just need to be careful where I'm placing them and how I'm placing them. So that's fine. I wanna put as many. So if they go purple, pink, can't place them there. But we're gonna cover this house. 
my performance is going to take a absolute literal shite when I blow all these up. Can I put one in that corner? <laughs> yes, I can. I can't put one there because of the picture. But we're going to put as many as we can. Fuck's sake! It happened again. It happened again. It went purple. It went pink. Well, that's the whole room gone anyway. <laughs> Shit. Is that the whole room? Yeah. Even the bed's gone. That's the whole room. Right, we're just gonna... Is that a screamer? Yeah, it was. And the turrets are working. Oh, I really wish I had more time to enjoy that. I really did, but okay, we're gonna go straight underground. Obviously, uh, for some reason, I can't fly underground. I have to be like this. So we're gonna just put them like so. Every single block under the house is gonna be covered with these. There are more screamers. I might even do the driveway. No! Have it again, guys. Happen again. Oh, for God's sake. It's so annoying. Alright, well, the base is collapsing now. <laughs> the base is collapsing now. What was that? Oh, that was a land claim bot. That's what that was. Right, the game's gone a little bit fuzzy. But we can move. Loads of screamers are spawning. There's an army of them coming. Turrets are going to take them out. Oh, oh, here come the coppers. Here comes everyone. Oh, God. I just want to see. I just want to look at everything collapse. <laughs> I thought I blew him up. Obviously, there is a lot of backlog. A lot of slowness. Lots of screamers. This is going to get really, really hectic and really slow very quickly. All oh, the vault doors are still hanging on. Oh no, we lost one. We lost one. This is still here. Whoa. Okay. So that collapsed. What about the rest? Oh, I already thought there was going to be like a daisy chain. That's a lot of zombies. Nice, love it. Ah, oh, it's fine, I don't mind doing it manually, guys. Oh, we lost the uh, Wandering Horde base. Oh dear, well, the corridor, that is. I'm not settling until all of it is gone. Alright, let's just go like this. <laughs> Oh, more, more and more chunks are falling. Come on, just all of it collapse. All of it collapse. Come on. This didn't go the way that I hoped. It really didn't. More screamers. Lots of zombies everywhere. Oh, we didn't blow out the caravan. Oh, there's zombies here too. <laughs> well, you guys are going to get hurt. Oh dear. They're all in. Oh yeah, the mine never blew up. Boom! Radiated white went flying. Oh look, look at all the water. Oh no, more and more falling. I don't think. Yeah, that didn't go either. Zombies! No. <laughs> that won't. That's not going to collapse. I think it's made of some sort of floating material. Zombies everywhere. Zombies everywhere. The turrets are still up. I'm not having that. Everything's got to go. Because I'll just be tempted to carry on playing. Wait for me to reload, please. No. That did nothing. 
Oh, there we go. Bye-bye, turrets. Oh, yeah, we haven't done the horde base. I completely forgot about the horde base. Horde base has got to go, too. <laughs> uh, I think I'll try and do underground. Yep. Yep, you guys can just do as you're doing. This is a two-for-one offer. Everything must go. Meaning the two horde bases. I think that might, might be a bit overkill, putting it like that. Just put them underneath the block. And then... Because I think they have like an area effect. I am not sure what the area effect is. I might have to test it. Like, what's the radius? Scream, 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 all you like. Uh, this one should only take one. <laughs> All of that. Sorry, guys. This is going to have to wait. I'm destroying my base. You guys should be happy, surely. You guys should just stand there. C cigars in your mouth. Going, now this is what we've been trying to do since the first day. And now I've done it for you. My base is completely destroyed. It is leveled. Well, not really, because it's not leveled out. <laughs> Oh wow, they're digging here. Oh no, what happened? What the hell happened? How did that collapse? Oh wow, I'll just... Sod it, I'm just going to trigger it all, because the noises are horrible to listen to. Oh. Oh, here we go. Bye bye, whore base. You have served me well. This was a good old base. I'd have to do this one again at some point. But expand on it. Make it bigger. Oh, there we go. But that's not enough. That should be enough. What about now? Oh, yeah. It's going. Bye-bye, Horde base. It is such an honor to have you. Oh, this is all steel. Not, not even steel can hold against gravity. When gravity is gone, steel is gone. Steel be gone. <laughs> that is a good slogan. They may try and punch the blocks, but I don't mind that. This is the last section. And this is a farewell. Is that going to hold on to that? I'm not very good at blowing up stuff. But I'm very good at it, but... Not in the way that you would hope. There we go. That is it. That is it. That is sad. I'm so sad. Oh, look. River. Oh, yeah, there was, a wa there was water, weren't there? We've done it, guys. We completely destroyed our base. There is no going back from that. I'm sad. This is sad. I actually got really into it. I, in terms of base, this was the best hat base, best house that I've lived in. It took so much work to get it from what it was to what it is, well, used to be towards the end. It was really good. It's, I'm sad to see it go. Armageddon. A little shout out to a very special person in my life that came up with that name, Armageddon, my mum. My mum came up with that name. Absolutely brilliant name, loved it. And obviously my mum is not the only one that's like supported this channel. You guys have been an absolute blast. Like the love and support from when I first started doing videos, just all together. From what it is now, I've included the camera the camera is brand new to this series. Started it on day one. Wasn't sure about the camera. Because there was like so much stuff I would have to consider and stuff like that. And it was more editing, but not really. Turns out it was actually not too bad. It was about the same as if I didn't have a camera. Oh wow, there's loads of them underneath me. <laughs> I'm just going to let you be underneath me like that. I look down at you. Look down at you like the ants you are. 
you little cretins that destroyed me. You killed me. Actually, let's go and check out Vanity Tower. It's not far away. Vanity Tower is just over here. Where is it? There it is. This is where we died in the previous episode. But yeah, this is where we died. We died, I believe, yeah, I believe it was in this room. I believe it was in this room. As soon as I jumped up from that ceiling, I creeped over. I probably creeped on this bloody trash, to be honest. And the zombies were all alerted. And I wanted to run. I, I tried to run this way. But there was a balloon boy right there. And that's where I got the brunt of my damage. And look at the loot. Look at the loot that I missed out on. Shamway. Backpack. Hardened chest. Loaded crates. Massive large ammo pile. Shotgun messiah. And obviously I really like the strobe lights. I think they're really cool. It's an added effect. Oh look, people have been playing bowling up here. Okay, that explains why this window, well, it's broken. That's how it's a window. That is a window. Explains why this is broken, because you've been playing bowling down this way. But that was that was Vanity Tower. Definitely, definitely, definitely was not prepared for that. Plus, it didn't help that I fell. It didn't help that I fell in the hole. Because I just wanted to crouch. And then I was a, and then I was about to like lay down some uh, frames. To help with myself. Be able to get out or something. But I fell. I should have just st stood here and made a ladder. Made a ladder for me to get out. But I didn't. There's a lot of things that I should and shouldn't. I should and shouldn't have done. On day 58. But look at the city. It is absolutely crazy. Those of you that didn't know. That is the Shong Tower. This gigantic. Enormous monstrosity. Named after one of the developers. That I am pretty sure. I believe has sadly passed away. Heart goes out to you my friend. But absolutely crazy. Brilliant POI. I've heard that it's been done up. Been revamped for Alpha 21. But I've not done done it at all yet. Come on, look at these buildings. There's so many. So many. But we'll have to maybe explore that in another series. Trader Gen, gonna miss you. Like six of you, six of you in this world, which is absolutely mental. Oh look, oh look, oh it take it shows it, then takes it away. Is it is it still there when oh, it is? It's still there from a distance. But as soon as I get close to it, it's gone. And it's gone. And it needs a little bit of time to render in the collapsed blocks. It's unfortunate. It is really is unfortunate that I didn't manage to get to the end of finishing this series. Those, I mean, this video is mostly me just rambling, just talking and destroying the base. It might be a short video. So after this video, I do believe I'm going to take a step back from Seven Dice for a little bit. Not for very long at all. But maybe a couple of videos. Because um, obviously I want to be clean, refreshed and feel, you know, just... I don't want to be burnt out. I don't want to burn myself out. Because there is going to be another series. Um, I've not decided exactly what that's going to be. I mean, I'll leave it up to you guys. Let me know if you want to see Darkness Falls. Darkness Fall is, has been one of my favourite mods. But I have not properly played it for a couple of years. And I think it's two versions of it. So two big updates have come out for it, which I've not played yet. I think it's on version 5. I played it on version 3 or 2 or something. Um, but definitely happy to play that mod when I'm finally when I'm going back to doing uh, series that is obviously other overhaul mods of seven days are Undead Legacy Apocalypse Now War of the Walkers like so 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 many there's a few in my mind that I could say but I don't want to get them wrong <laughs> there's one that's War War 3 something it says War and there's a 3 in it not a clue I've seen that one but any of them definitely even the brand new Wasteland Fallout mod. I've not, I've never played that one. There's quite a few of the mods I've never played. But I'll be happy to play any of them. Or if you just want to see a complete 
completely different game altogether. I'm, I am I don't mind that. Um, I have thought about a few other videos. But don't worry, there will be another video the day after when this one comes out. But it might be like a couple of filler. A couple of, like, play, just play something different for the, for the time being. But yeah, I've, I say it so many times, but just honestly, from the deepest part of my heart, just thank you so much for the love and support. Thank you for every single like, every single view, every single comment. Because... I don't think of you guys as numbers on the screen. I think of you as individual people at 140 of you guys. Blows my mind. I think this is quite a nice camera angle, to be honest. Lovely sunset. The sun is setting already, guys. Jesus. I wasn't. I didn't think this video was going to be very long. But overall, I had an absolute blast of a time making this series. Something very different out of my comfort zone. And I must admit, I'm a, I take my hat off to my computer for being able to survive this gigantic city and the and the hordes. Don't get me wrong, the hordes were kind of like slow and didn't really start um, to begin with. But then they just, they ramped out of nowhere. They came up, they ramped up out of nowhere. Just And then it was too much in a lot of times. And it's just killing them was a challenge in on itself because I had to spare ammo between killing them and the horde base. Was, yeah, the seven day horde base and ammo for doing POIs. So it was a struggle. That was a challenge all on its own, which I've not been used to. <laughs> and let me know guys, what was your favorite part? What was your favorite moment in this series? What was your favorite episode and why? I love to know because I feed off your feedback. I love it just so much just the feedback get in my face I was saying that I believe yeah I'm gonna leave this here I'm gonna leave this world I'm gonna leave army get in here what what an amazing time it's been I'm sad to see it go that house was amazing just I never knew I I never knew I had such a creative side never knew it I mean I got a glimpse of my creative side from doing you know the youtube videos but the house crazy it's a shame that i never got into decorating and refurbishing the insides like with sofas and tv and stuff it's a shame i never got to that point but the outside the painting that's that that done it for me that was that was like oof, yes just oh, just delicious bonus content this is what this episode is. It's going to stay with the Armageddon series playlist, but it is bonus. I'll I'll have it written on screen for you guys in the thumbnail. But anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you liked it, please hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay up to date for more uploads. And please subscribe. It helps the channel out bunches. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy gaming.